Look uh, right here, this Western oh. Sun right here. So I need a clean Glen on this one. Now, this is Texas whiskey. Uh, it is a single barrel, so I assume another pick of theirs. I'm expecting this to be, like Texas whiskey kind of tastes rapid aged a little bit sometimes to me. And it's really just because it gets so much heat, right? You get a little bit of that rapid aged bitterness, um, like somebody put it in a hot box or threw some staves on it. I'd never heard of this one. And if I saw this in a liquor store, I would not buy it. That um, I would not buy this whiskey. Because just because it's like, what is this? This this just looks like some crap somebody sourced. It's a nice looking bottle, but the label's just okay. Uh, I just wouldn't have bought it. So this these are the ones I like. When somebody's like, hey, try this one that knows what they're talking about, this is exciting to me. So smells nice. Um, now we've had quite a few really, really powerful pours, especially that scotch. So this one's a little more subtle than that. It definitely has a little bit of that starting to develop, that kind of Texas flavor, but it's actually really subtle. Like, it's not a Garrison Brothers or, what is it, Yellow Rose or any of those that start to have that kind of bitterness. Like, they cut this off at, like, the perfect time. So it's got a little of that kind of Texas leatheriness starting to develop. But it's actually super sweet and, and subtle. I, I like that. That's actually a good bottle. That's actually a good bottle. Did they make this themselves? Milled, mashed, fermented, distilled, aged, blended, and bottled by them. So yeah, sounds, sounds like it. Sounds like they made the dirt they grew the crap in that they used to make this whiskey. <laughs> like they did it all. They, they manufactured the tractor that plowed the field, that put the corn in. Um that's pretty good. 